wrestler's court was a lighthearted way to get the message across that you're screwing up and your coworkers know that you're screwing up and they don't much appreciate it. You've kind of made your bed, now you gotta lie in it. Well, I was brought up at wrestler's court one time. Al Snow and I were judged guilty of leaving Bob Holly hanging at the airport while we went on carnival rides. Apparently, leaving another one of the guys hanging was a serious offense and was treated as such. If you're accused, then Taker would render the judgment. Well, then all drinks are on you tonight, or, you know, whatever it might be. It was usually a case of beer, a bottle of Jack Daniels. You got to pay for my hotel room for three days. You got to pay for my rent a car for a week. Those were usually the outcomes of the sentences. Yeah, you might get called out and get embarrassed a little bit, but it's then it's what do you do with it from there? And I try to give some type of advice that there was actually some, some content and merit to what was happening. A lot of times it would be a good laugh, honestly, and you could just kind of go there and it was this ridiculous spectacle. Anything you can do to kind of alleviate some of the stress and tension of the road, it was more times than not good, harmless fun. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of blown away, really. One day, I showed up at TV, and lo and behold, Xavier presented me with my official gavel. I was really impressed with that, and it meant a lot. I still have the gavel. I just happened to have it on me, you know, right here. But that's it, man. It's really nice. It says Judge Undertaker on it. I haven't actually had to use it in wrestler's court, but uh, my kids have definitely had the gavel slammed down on, on their actions. One of the cooler gifts that I've been given through the years. It means a lot to me.